guys, so I've been packing all night. Um, I'm looking like I'm gonna move on Sunday night. My 16 year old cousin and her friend are coming down again this weekend. That'll be fun and hopefully they won't hate me if I try and coerce them into helping me move on Sunday night. Yeah, that's looking like the last day that I'm probably gonna sleep in this house. Um, I have been working on a video as I've been packing but I'm probably not gonna upload that until I'm gonna say Wednesday of next week because there's just a lot of like emotional nonsense in that. Anyways, what I wanted to tell you guys was a story about an animal. Um, I put out the garbage on the porch one night instead of putting it in the garbage can just because it was late at night and I was really lazy and I just happened to be in a rush everywhere that I went for the next couple of days so it sat there. Now one morning last week I opened up the front door to go to work and there is a gigantic mutant rat on my doorstep and I mean it had a rat tail and a rat face but it was as big as a cat. So I phoned my workplace, well it happens to be an army unit which is what makes this so much of a more pathetic story and I told the guy that picked up the phone there was a gigantic mutant rat on my doorstep and I was going to be late for work and he's like just open the door and it'll run away. So I tried opening the door and uh, I'll show you guys here, there's a clip. I was actually talking to it and it didn't want to move. It was staying on the porch. Hey little buddy. Can I pass you without you attacking me? Is that okay? So yeah, it's hanging out on the porch. I'm talking to it. I tried flicking the screen door a few times. It wouldn't go away. Eventually, I had to leave the house while it was still on the porch, but I was terrified for my life because I thought that it was gonna attack me and I was like, guaranteed a rat as disgusting and gigantic as this has rabies or something nasty that it's gonna give me. This is so weird. How do I leave the house? <laughs> Well, I'm just gonna go for it and hope that it doesn't attack me. I get to work and I show them the video and they told me that it was actually a possum and had a really good laugh at me, but I've never seen a possum before and it had a tail like a rat and I've never seen an animal with a tail like that before. So what am I gonna assume? That it's it's like a New York alley rat that somehow found its way onto my doorstep. They're like, it's a possum, it's not a big deal, it's not gonna do anything to you. They're laughing at me because I was scared to leave the house while it was there. And so a couple of days later, um, I, I had left the bag of garbage on the porch because he tore it open and at that point it needed to be shoveled off the porch and once again my life is just ridiculous and I'm never home until it's dark so I didn't get a chance to do that. So my brother and a friend are over and they're checking out my brother's car in the driveway. He just got a new Mustang Boss or a Boss Mustang. I don't know. It's a red thing. It's really fancy and it goes really fast and makes a lot of noise. <laughs> so him and his friend are checking out the Mustang in the driveway. He goes to walk inside and sure enough the possum is on the doorstep again. And I'm like guys that is it. It's disgusting and it's evil. It's evil I promise you. So they decide that they're gonna get it off the doorstep by by poking it and throwing newspaper rolls at it, which I thought was really mean, but I just wanted the thing gone. They start to do that and I took a video and in this video you can see exactly how evil this thing really is. Don't, don't throw the newspaper at it, that's so mean. <laughs> that's not a possum, it's a dinosaur. This thing is a mean ass gigantic rat. It and it's disgusting to top it off. But look, watch, look at its teeth. It's nasty. This thing wants to eat your new baby. If you had a new baby, would you want it to be in a world where this thing was? I don't think so. Eventually the thing left, which was um, quite a dramatic experience for me, which I'll show you guys even though it's incredibly embarrassing. Watch out, baby! Ah! And yeah, I haven't seen him since. Uh, it might have to do with the fact that the garbage finally got cleaned up by my brother. Thank you, Ricky. So I haven't seen him since, and quite frankly, he's one of the reasons that I'm really happy to leave this house and not come back to it because he is totally disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, that was just a really quick update. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you for putting up with me. I actually found out um, one last thing today. I thought I was gonna get two weeks in between my course to come home and make some videos, but what I found out is that I'm actually heading from one course, May the 17th until June the 15th, 
straight to the other course in my car. The next course starts in June the 15th and it goes until August the 17th. Uh, I have a feeling that I may be able to come home on weekends from that course. So if I can, I promise you guys will hear from me if uh, there's any way for you to at all. Everything's kind of crazy right now. So have a good night.